Costume, but it's just very hard for me to drive anywhere in costume, so just go from there. Looking forward to it. See you soon. Basically, this thing is just 
a cannon on a stick that you light with a burning rope called a match. Now this was the technology of the day. And this gun was firing against soldiers and knights in plate armour very similar to the way I'm dressed. The accuracy wasn't great. The distance wasn't great. It fires a 50 calibre lead ball. Now, if the guy with the gun manages to hit you, it's going to make a big mess. You've got to remember they weren't necessarily target shooting. He would have been firing at a wall of men like this, so the chances he's going to hit something is very high. In this period, this was an extremely expensive, experimental piece of equipment, and there were not many gunners in the army. They were really a status symbol rather than being effective. <laughs> so that's without a ball in it. If Good sirs. Yes. Be careful. Warm up. Yeah. I'm like, oh fuck, I'm about to get hurt. Yeah. It's <laughs> Look, you can make karate, but karate never leaves you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think blocking a sword with your hand is a good idea. No. You would have just been. Yeah. Sliced off. Super, super dead. Men's meat. Yeah.
know, an hour, maybe a bit more. Big crowd, good day. Nice and sunny. And not too hot either.
you may have your talking stick, sir. Thank you, I have my talking stick back, yay! My lords, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to our noble jousters today. First of all, the Lord of all things Winterfest. He is a man who has been jousting for roughly 20 years and absolutely loves the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Sir Andrew Beatty. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, another jouster who's been jousting for over 20 years. We worked out the other day like a quarter of a century. You think you'd have worked it out by now? Whose son is also on the field today? I give you Sir Justin Holland. <laughs> Next up, the aforementioned. Oh no, okay, ladies and gentlemen, Sir Daryl Bosley. <laughs> and last but possibly least, ladies and gentlemen, Oliver Hunter Holland Esquire. He may not be the best jouster here, but he's the most enthusiastic. <laughs> now our jousters will uh, warm the horses up and make sure they're comfortable with the way everything's working. Uh, however, I will point out, the joust horses are very, very highly trained animals. Uh, it is not a normal activity for a horse to ride at another horse. Uh, so they have to be trained especially to do that. Lance in hand for Oliver Hunter Holland, Lance in hand for Sir Justin. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. That's a big hit to start things. That is, that is two points to Oliver Hunter Holland Esquire. No points to Sir Justin. So he's certainly making up for his interesting performance during the skillet arms this morning. If you keep doing that, he's going to sing, and nobody wants that. <laughs> Hopefully, is the closure as secure? Yeah. Thundering through. Oh. Now, when the lance goes up like that, that cancels that round out. Something is going on. Possibly the horse has decided to, you know, be a little more frisky this run. Uh, so rather than do anything too dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, one thing we haven't had this uh, round, uh, we haven't had anyone jousting with their visor up. Uh, it does happen. Um, people tend to forget Henry VIII. Henry VIII, before he was an enormous fat man with six wives, was a young man. And he was a young athletic man who loved jousting. Now, at one stage, he went jousting and he forgot to pull his visor down before he did. His opponent nearly killed him, which would have saved a whole lot of women a whole lot of trouble, really. Okay. Second pass. Second pass? Oh, there's a track. Yes, yeah, second pass of the grand final, ladies and gentlemen. Coming down to the final moments. Thundering through. Ooh. That looks like one point to Oliver Hunter holding his squad. A great catch there from Mitch. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mitch. <laughs> Also, Oliver Hunter Holland Esquire, please. Uh, do we have a touch there for Sir Andrew? No, no points for Sir Andrew. So coming into the final pass, we have Sir Andrew Beatty on three points. Oliver Hunter Holland on two points. Anyone can take this match at this point.
A really good shatter from Oliver Hunter Holland Esquire. We'll nudge him into the lead. Okay, we have the lance in hand to both ends. So Andrew coming in hot. Now we're just going to have to do some examining. <laughs> 